Today, we're going to talk about some of the latest updates to the Activator 1.7.5 beta, and I'm going to show off a few new features here. Uh, the first feature is a new gesture, and that is the sleep button with menu button. Now the menu button in this case is the home button. So if you press both buttons simultaneously, you can execute an action. Now normally this, this combination is reserved for a screenshot on iOS, but you can actually change it as I'm gonna show you here. I have it assigned right now to a new action. It is called invoke shutter. So I can actually, actually trigger the camera app shutter function using this new action. And I've of course assigned that to a press of the home button and the sleep button simultaneously. I'm gonna do it right now, show you guys what it looks like. That is the action. And if the camera app isn't already open, it'll do that first. And then each subsequent use of the gesture will take a uh, photo using the camera shutter just like that. So it's a pretty simple, um, you know, activator gesture, uh, but it's one that likely many have been asking for for a while. So it's nice to have the ability to reassign the uh, home button and sleep button simultaneous gesture to do something different. In this case, I assigned it to that new action, the uh, camera shutter. Now, there's also a new event that you can set up, received email. So whenever you receive an email from a specific recipient, uh, any sender or a specific subject, then you can set off an activator action. That is really cool. So you can see I set up the subject line with the word activator, and now I can go into anywhere, find my new custom gesture that I set up, and I can go ahead and create an action to assign to this. Now, if I wanna edit some of the fields, I can just tap that blue button. If I wanna assign an action to it, I just tap the item itself. So now I'm gonna find, what should I assign to this? So when I receive a new email with the subject line activator, something will happen on my device. What should happen? Let me think here. Uh, how about just activate notification center? That, that seems pretty swell. I mean, I don't know. It, just for testing purposes anyway, there's tons of things you could go with it, tons of areas you could go with this, tons of places you could go with this if you wanted to, but I'm gonna do the activator gesture. So I sent myself an email. I'm going to refresh my email just like this, and let's see what happens. And let's try it again. There we go. So I received the email with the activator in the subject line, the word activator in the subject line. You can see that the uh, notification center invoked automatically courtesy of activator. And there is the email right there. I tried it actually a couple of times, but through the magic of editing, you guys didn't see that. So this is Activator. It is 1.7.5 Beta 8, and Beta 8 added the new sleep button press with the menu button and the invoke shutter. It was actually Beta 7 that added the support for custom events triggered by an incoming email. Needless to say, this latest version of Activator is a great update. It's a great tool in general. If you haven't already added Ryan Petrick's beta repo, I suggest you do that. You can find the details in the description and on the post on IDB. Let me know what you guys think about the latest version of Activator in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.